live webinar on uh, market access program related to Varbani lift off acceleration, uh, where uh, Atal Incubation Center, Central Coffee Research Institute, Coffee Board Bangalore, recently we have signed uh, an agreement with uh, Varbani Foundation in order to nurture the startups who are in uh, acceleration phase now. So today, uh, Ms. Sangamitra, uh, who is from Varbani Foundation, uh, is going to give brief about this uh, lift-off program, how it is going to help the startups, and uh, the role of uh, uh, AICC, CRI, and also Varbani Foundation in this 14-week uh, structured program, and uh, what is the uh, phases like uh, what are uh, things covered and uh, how uh, uh, like each startup would like to enroll into this program what are the necessary steps they need to follow what are the eligibility criteria so she'll uh, take you through all those uh, details and uh, in the end we will be having a q and a session where the participants are uh, given an opportunity to ask relevant questions uh, to the resource persons and get your uh, uh, queries resolved so the application for this program is already open. So we expect uh, uh, the startups to apply as early as possible. So now I uh, request to Ms. Abita from my team to give formal uh, introduction about the speaker of the day. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Abita. I'm starting this section. Before starting the session, I will tell about the speaker. Our speaker, Ms. Name, uh, Ms. Sangamitra Basin, she is a consultant, sourcing and selection of Vardwani Foundation. She is a seasoned professional within 10 years in hospitality training, sales and marketing. She is transitioned into consulting, aiding the startups in refining strategies and operations. She joined Vardwani Foundation and focusing on the cultivating strategic partnership in the startup ecosystem. She is very passionate into that supporting early stage founders, securing a pre pre-seed capital and fostering entrepreneurial growth. So we warmly, we warmly welcome you, ma'am. So we can start the section now. So, ma'am, can you? Thank you. Thank you so much, Sankta ji. And thank you so much, Praveen ji, for having me uh, on the session. And a uh, very warm welcome to all the uh, entrepreneurs here uh, and uh, the AICCCRI team and having me here as well. Uh, so we are getting, uh, we are into this collaboration with uh, AICCCRIs to support startups in this particular sector and uh, see as to how we can support them in launching themselves successfully through, uh, you know, supporting various business aspects of them and helping them raise some commercial funds so that they could, uh, you know, uh, you know, get the get the uh, product market fit and get the market that they're looking at to launch themselves successfully. So uh, uh, going forward, next 15 to 20 minutes, I'm going to take quickly to take you through this, through the presentation of what Vadvani Foundation is, what do we do and what is the program all about? Uh, what are the different interventions and what are the benefits that you can get after um, you know going through this program so i'm going to share my screen now and uh, take you through this detail uh, let me know once you are able to see my screen so are you able to see my screen yes visible all right thank you so much all right, so good afternoon once again to everybody. I am Sangamitra, as uh, just introduced uh, very humbly from uh, the team. Uh, I take care of sourcing and selection for the teams that get into the liftoff program that has been run by the Vadwani Foundation. Uh, the foundation has a mission of accelerating economic development in emerging economies, and we do that through job creation. Uh, we are uh, encouraging entrepreneurship, innovation, and skill development to meet our mission. Currently, we are scaling our impact in 22 different countries across the world and three different continents, Asia, Africa, and Latin America. That is Dr. Ramesh Vadwani. He is the founder and chairman for this foundation. He is a serial entrepreneur himself based out of the Silicon Valley and a philanthropist. 80% uh, of his uh, personal wealth actually goes into running this particular foundation. And uh, uh, he has built around 40 different 
more than 40 different ventures uh, and one of the most successful that one that he exited was at more than nine billion dollars is the founding chairman a uh, founding chairman and the chairman for various uh of various successful organizations as you see in front and he is also the proud recipient of the padma shri in the year 2020 so um keeping in line with the mission of the uh foundation uh the north star is job creation and we have three verticals that work towards it we have Advani entrepreneur network this is the network I work on and we are working with startups, entrepreneurs, uh, and we are helping them uh, maximize their growth potential uh, along with the SMEs. So we work with students, we work with early stage startups. Then we have the Wadwani Skill, uh, Skills Network that works with students and helps them get ready with 21st century job skills. And we have the Wadwani Institute of Technology and Policy that works with senior bureaucrats in the India government and policy makers to uh, execute various um, policies. So these are the three different verticals. And as I mentioned, the North Star is job creation. So uh, Wadwani Entrepreneur Network, the vertical I belong to, we have three different programs, Ignite, Liftoff and Advantage. Liftoff is the program that uh, we are working on which supports early stage startup. And after this program, we try to help them raise pre-seed capital. The program is structured something like this. It is a 14 weeks long program. It is totally digital. Uh, the idea behind the program is to help uh, help you come up with the refined investable pitch deck by working on a compelling value proposition, sustainable and scalable business model, financial stability, and in turn, achieve more traction in terms of customers and revenues. The entire program happens on our learning platform. Uh, this platform is loaded with curated materials, case studies, solution kits, uh, various experts' videos, articles, templates, and framework to support you work on your pitch deck. So, uh, so the way this program goes is that you have to apply for the program. The, uh, the eligibility to apply for the program is that you need to be a registered startup. You need to have an MVP in place at least. And you need to uh, have found, uh, you have to have founders who are working uh, on the startup on a full time basis with a six month runway with yourself. Once you apply for the program with that eligibility, you go through a selection process and you get onboarded onto a cohort. Once you're onboarded onto the cohort, you get access to all these materials that I just spoke to you about, which is there on, to, on our learning platform. So uh, we start off with the journey, which is 14 weeks long. Uh, we start off with the baselining activity. It is a self-diagnostic tool wherein a report is generated based on the inputs that you give on your uh, various uh, on 12 critical success criteria and that sets up your roadmap for the coming uh, 14 weeks uh, after that there are uh, all the weeks are theme oriented every theme is a business strategy that works towards your uh, towards building up your pitch deck and continuously refine it how do i do it I, I have weekly uh, sprint sessions, which are one and one and a half hours. And I have one on one session that you can do on a weekly on fortnightly basis with the consultant or the program manager to have a very focused and goal oriented discussion with them. So that's that's how uh, every week is worked on every week. As I mentioned, there is a theme attached. There is a problem working on your problem pitch on your MVP or the product service that you're working on on your business model, your GTM strategy, your sales and marketing, your team, how to have the right co-founders onboarded, uh, the, your valuation plan and your funding plan. So all of these are aspects are worked on through a case study and a solution kit. So when you come for the sprint session, there is a, this, a, you know, a group discussion based on that and how do you apply that on your particular venture through using the solution kit. We are also uh, doing masterclasses, live masterclasses with interactions uh, on a fortnightly basis and a mentor support, which could be domain or functional basis uh, throughout this program to guide you. 
so on a on a whole you have a approximately 2 to 3 hours of interventions per week based on how your baselining activity is uh, giving out the report so the baselining activity is is, is the uh, you know uh, the the first step for you to see how how much time you will need to put in onto this program so now all of these resources that you and i mentioned to you about during this uh, that is available online and or you know through live sessions are all available from you the moment you on board onto the program however we are not tracking uh, which are the ones that you're attending or what is the one that you're not attending because we understand that as startups you have 100 to do's and uh, we cannot compel we can make it compulsion compulsory for you to attend them however of course if you attend them it only helps you further to work on your pitch deck what is mandatory and what we consider as the uh, measure of you completing the program are the three dotted lines you see these are called three milestones just to give you a small information about these milestones the first milestone is basically a presentation of what your baseline activity said so that is definitely very important for us to see where you are currently and our consultants and the program managers to support you so once you do the baseline activity you get to know uh, so you submit that that's your milestone one middle of the program we have a mock pitch presentation where uh, we have an external panel to evaluate your pitching and to understand what your pitching style is where is it that you require further in refinement uh, uh, and where is it that you require to maybe pivot thereafter you have a final pitch presentation which is milestone 3 this is the point where ideally if you have gone through this entire program used the right interventions in the right sprint sessions the right one on one sessions uh, and the master classes and mentoring you should have come up with an investable pitch deck which should get a green signal from our investment team to appear for the investor demo day so that is how this entire program is spanned out so 14 weeks three compulsory milestones uh domain and functional mentoring master classes various case uh, sprint sessions weekly sprint sessions and one on one a uh, one on one officers so this is how this entire week uh, progresses to get you to the end of the 14 week so uh the pathway is this is how the pathway looks like the startup assessment as i have just explained to you it starts with the baselining touching upon various business aspects then the in terms of engagement we have discussions during the sprint sessions and various other one on ones on your market penetration sales and marketing we have access to various advisors and mentors mock pitching spreads at mock pitches and various peer networking and learning sessions that are organized time to time for the startups to engage and interact with each other to know more about what they're doing we in fact have something called a lift off social which is organized by the startups themselves uh, recognizing that this might be an interesting topic to know what my peer is doing about it so like for example the last one we did was about finding a co-founder so uh, every uh, all the startups came together and give their thoughts as to how did you want to do it so that's just an example of how this engagement works uh thereafter we have we are providing of course the support to these startups in terms of the curated material and resources on our platform uh various inputs that are pro- that are provided uh time and forth about grants and funds available various incubations and acceleration program that that could help a particular line of uh line of startups work on the presentation skills uh, get an access to the various tools and templates and expert opinions and interventions during the master classes and the expert interventions so uh that's a gist of how the program uh, interventions happen there are weekly sprint sessions uh open to all and uh, you know open as and when you require to do it one on one office hours uh which is a one on one consultation session with our consultants and program managers master classes which are live uh which happen fortnightly based on the theme of the week uh pitching boot camp is something that is organized for all those startups who are able to complete the three milestones that i spoke to you about this boot camp basically talks about uh 
your presentation skills. It talks about pitch pitfalls that you could that you could avoid during your pitch presentation. The art of storytelling, things that a startup would, uh, you know, an investor would look at, and uh, topics like that. Apart from that, we have interim and final mock pitches and a final investor demo day, where again, all those startups who complete the three milestones are able to uh, get an entry into to uh, and also an access to forty plus investor partners that we have uh, to pitch in front of and. Um, get the idea of if they are able to raise some funds. So this is how we are spread across the country right now. We are supporting 1400 startups through 100 different partners across the country. These are state startup missions. These are AICs, uh, various academic incubators, various corporate incubators, investors. Uh, the program is totally free of cost, as I mentioned to you, uh, but a lot of support provided to the startups in terms of access and materials and mentoring that the startup might require. These are on the screen also some of our partners who are supporting us during the investor demo day and mock pitches uh, as panelists as well. Example of some of our um, masterclasses and interventions and socials that are uh, organized for our previous cohorts. This has been our funding story for the year. We have funded almost 95 different startups uh, with an average takeaway of 40 lakh. Uh, and uh, we have in total raised almost 40 crore of funds for all of them. Uh, some of our champion alumni uh, lift off startups who came into the program with some grants funds, went through this program and were finally after the program able to raise commercial funding of more than one CR uh, with, with our program's help. Some of our experts who do their master classes for the, for the various cohorts. And these are some of our startup consultants and facilitators who work closely with the cohorts, supporting them, hand-holding them during the 14 weeks journey. These are some of the mentors who are attached to the startups. Uh, we have a mentor pool of 120 plus startups. So 120 plus mentors, plus of course the partners uh, with whom we are collaborating. Their uh, mentors also support the startups based on the need. And finally, this is our leadership. This is Dr. Ramesh Vadwani. I spoke to him about him already. Mr. Mithul Patel is our, our president. And finally, we have Mr. Sanjay Shah, who's the COO, and he also heads the liftoff program, which I just spoke to you about. Yes, so that brings me to the end of this presentation, and I shall be glad to take up questions at this stage. Okay, thank you, Mr. Mithul. Uh, Thank you, uh, Sanjita, for the crisp presentation on the Liftoff program. Now, uh, I request the participants to ask any questions if you may have. Uh, can you can even uh, post your questions in the chat box. Anybody would like to ask the questions? Hi, this is Prashant. Hi, Prashant. So Sangamitra, you said uh, that as part of the liftoff program, you're looking for uh, an MVP and how many years should the company be in uh, business before you take them into the liftoff program? So you, uh, so of course, uh, uh, two to three years uh, into the, uh, into launching their uh, venture is what's the max that gets a startup into an initial traction. Okay. So if it's already an existing company and if there is a new innovative product that they want to launch, is that also be considered as part of this lift of program or they should be well within this three years of uh, startup? If you are a startup, uh, considered as a startup, you are registered as a startup, you are eligible. Okay. So maybe you are get you're pivoting and getting a new product in place and that is how you would want to be a part of the program so that we could support. Okay, thank you. Uh, hi, Sagmitra, this is Venkatesh. Hi, Venkatesh. Uh, 
in, in fact, uh, I'm just looking at the information on uh, founders to be full time. Is it all the founders to be full time? I mean, all the founders and co-founders to be full time, or at least a part of the team full time? Is that okay? At least the founder, at least one of the founder has to be full time because if you are not a full time and are not yourself fully engaged with the uh, with your venture, then I do not think an investor would be interested in investing because that's yeah, the sole uh, idea behind. Yeah, yeah, I got your point. It's like whether it is a full team or uh, the main founders are full uh, full time, it should be okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we have a question. Can startups at pre-revenue uh, can startups at pre-revenue stage apply? Yes, of course you can. Uh, as I mentioned, we are looking at startups ready with an MVP, ready to launch. So, of course, if you are pre-revenue, you are very much eligible to, um, you know, uh, apply for the program. The eligibility, as I mentioned, is you need to be a DPIT registered startup. You need to have an MVP in place or in very early traction, maybe paid pilots, and you need to have a six month runway and full-time founders to be eligible. Any other questions from other participants? from one of the startup recently when we uh, promoted this particular uh, program on you know, social media. So they were uh, asking about uh, this one-on-one uh, -on -one mentorship, like how, how this will happen, what is the process uh, and uh, what are the sectors uh, on which these mentors are available. So can you throw interesting, some light upon that? Interesting question, of course. So, uh, of course, mentoring and networking is what uh, most of the early stage startups are looking at before they are launching themselves. So, as I mentioned to you and showed you on the journey map, the baselining activity plays a big role in uh, deciding the mentors. So, once you do the baselining activity and we, come, uh, we, uh, we get the self-diagnostic tool to uh, report to understand what are the challenge and pain points for your startup that is when you have a discussion with uh, the uh, with this uh, with the consultant and the program manager on the kind of mentors that need to be uh, uh, you know uh, allotted to this particular startup so it could be domain on functional basis as a, uh, we currently have 120 plus mentors on our mentor pool uh, of course there are mentors on the collaborating partners end as well like AIC, CCRI must be having a few mentors. So in case there are certain specific technical uh, mentoring that is required for a startup, and if we might not have it on our pool, then it is uh, taken, uh, the, the partner's help is taken, but this is what is the mentoring uh, process over here. Uh, so that is through the mentor pool at Vadwani Foundation and with the partner. And that happens after the submission of the first milestone. Uh, that is the baselining activity. So there is a question in the chat box uh, by Mr. Amit. He's asking, are there any particular industries or sectors that a startup has to be in for applying for this program? So uh, before Sangamitra answers this, one uh, clarification I would like to give. Uh, like AIC, CCRI, as I, like uh, we have uh, three focus areas. Basically, we support startups in the area of coffee, uh, spices, and agri tech. Apart from that, we also would like to uh, support startups who are into uh, climate tech and uh, agri tourism or eco tourism. So, in this regard, uh, this question with Vadwani Foundation, uh, we specifically are looking for uh, these sectors. So, if there are any other uh, startups like with other focus areas. I believe Badwani Foundation have partnership with uh, other incubation centers where such uh, 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 ideas can be supported. So, uh, Sangamitra, you can add uh, some more details about it. No, you answered the question actually very well answered over there. So, uh, yes, uh, with various partners who have sector specification in terms of the incubation that they are providing, 
we are supporting them with that those sectors however uh, as you saw the program basically is support, uh, is working on work uh, on the business aspects for the startups uh, to be investable ready okay so that's the reason why the program is pretty much sector agnostic uh, it works for uh, startups across the sectors uh, however to get the right startups with the particular incubation program uh, we can reach out to sector specific startups only to get them onto the right incubation program but the pro the lift off program yeah. is totally sector agnostic so uh, does not matter if if you are uh, from another uh, from any other sector and if you are not belonging to any of the sectors that that aic ccri is supporting you could directly apply on Wadwani Foundation. We have various campaigns running with other partners. If it is sector specific, you could apply through that campaign or directly apply on our website to be a, be a part of the group. I hope that answers the question. Yes, so there is a follow-up question again, chat box from Mr. Amit. Is asking uh, this is specific to coffee industry. What sort of startups in the coffee ecosystem would be eligible for this program? So I will answer this uh, question since it's related to coffee sector. Uh, Mr. Ramit, uh, see basically we are looking for uh, uh, startups who have some innovative process or a technology or value-added products or any technology that helps in uh, uh, either post-harvest technologies or uh, in the branding, packaging, or increasing the shelf life of the products related to coffee sector. Apart from this, uh, we also accept applications uh, uh, from the startups who are working in uh, agri-tech platform where those solutions can also be customized to the plantation crops like uh, uh, coffee and other things. I hope I answered the question. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Yeah, Sangamitra, like I have one more question. Uh, like, um, uh, are there any specific uh, uh, event like the launch pad services or any uh, market access related uh, activities uh, specifically designed for the uh, participants of this lift off program from Vardhani Foundation? So, uh it is time and uh, as per time and as per the uh, you know offers that are coming up whatever comes up through our partners in terms of offers and or launches uh, it is all shared on the cohort uh, for startups to make full use of but from badwani foundation specifically there is i mean uh, as part of the lift off program there's no specific apart from what you said so as and when they come in they are shared with the startups Yeah. Uh, Mr. No. Vinay Shetty, you wanted to ask any question? Yeah, go on, Good afternoon, madam. Uh, Vinay Good Shetty afternoon. here. Yeah. Hello, Mr. Vinay. Hello. Uh, we are manufacturer of uh, fully automatic coffee vending machines, espresso machines. So we are just three years old. Last October, you completed three years. We was one of the incubator with the coffee women, utterly patient center. I just remember the last three years, what are the resources we have based on that? We have developed out of three to four products now. Recently, we have participated in a World Coffee Conference also. And we got a very good response from various uh, big brands uh, in the nationally as well as the international players. That we got because we are looking for, you know, to expand, to scale up our production, we need a lot of things, development activity. Naturally, we need some funding, all those things. If the three years old company still, there is the opportunity that we can make use of a World Foundation and I can get some support from you. Uh, well, uh, that is definitely a question that will have to be taken on a one-on-one -on -one basis. So, uh, yes, the idea could be supported. So, yeah, uh, we would. I would park it for my consultants to work with you on that and uh, see how and where we can support. Maybe the entire support as you are expecting cannot be provided, but certain parts of it can. Uh, but, uh, but how and when uh, the consultants and the program managers would be the right people to answer. So, uh, yes, the uh, step forward, the next step would be to apply so that we can, uh, you know, go through your pitch deck and see okay. where is it that we can uh, support at all. Yeah. Okay. We can present our pitch deck. So, based on that, I think uh, we can yes, decide yes. 
exactly. what's our eligibility, where it can take you help or support. Correct. Thank you. Thank you, madam. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I have shared the uh, application link in the chat box. So this is uh, specific to the focus area that I spoke upon. So you can uh, click that and uh, submit your application. So if your focus area is uh, uh, not related to uh, the coffee or spices or uh, agri tech and uh, eco tourism and uh, climate tech, then as uh, Ms. Sangamitra suggested, you can go to the Barwani Foundation uh, uh, list of program uh, uh, details in the in their website and uh, apply accordingly. Uh, Mr. may I ask one question? Yes, Mr. Kothamu. I mean, I, I happen to attend this program already and I have okay. reached until the final uh, stage almost. So are you, are you part open? of any particular cohort already? Previous, yes. Uh, so are you open for open uh, suggestion or for constructive criticism also? Uh, sorry, I didn't get you. you. Are you already part of a, a cohort right now or did, were you part of it previously? Previously. Uh, which year? Uh, last year. Uh, uh, and you were part of a lift-off program or an Ignite yes, program? Yes, yes, yes. A lift-off program. Okay. And, and, you uh, were, and did you complete it? Yes, almost. Uh, I mean, there is only one or two winners are selected in the last round. So they would winners. be... Winners in the sense, a group of seven to eight people are offered to talk to the investors in order to pitch their idea to them, right? Exactly. So that's what yeah. I was I was wanting to know, whether you completed the program or not. As I shared with you over the, uh, pitch, uh, over the presentation, the investor demo day and the pitching boot camp is open to only those startups who complete the milestones and they right. get a heads up from our investment team. Correct. So, uh, so, uh, so that is very necessary for you to uh, come up into the invest investment uh, uh, investor demo. Yes, yes, I have some feedback on the program actually. So, can I give okay. here? The thing is, uh, you know, it, you have been giving a lot of uh, Excel sheets to fill up, which is, uh, I think, Vadwani Foundation is a data hungry company. And uh, I don't know, I mean, where it is going. A busy entrepreneur cannot have his own, he'll be busy in his business, right? So it is morely, mostly theoretical. 99% is theoretical and we have to fill a lot of data. And I'm uh, thinking and asking what is the analogy behind that? And the case uh, studies which you give is not relevant to our business. Probably you will give textile related, you will give you know, uh, something, some forge industry related. If I am doing my business in coffee, how it is relevant? Because you may be one among the uh, 50 uh, consultants and may, there may be so many other uh, course uh, people, they'll be coming and uh, deliberating there. So ultimately, I spoke to the winner also, the lady. Uh, she is now, she is employed and she is working in London. Uh, in a, in a you know, oil extraction company. So I asked her, are you not, after getting the funding, are you not to, you know, opening your business and what is this, you are still working for some company? Yes, I'm working for some company. So where it is heading and uh, it, it, it says it is an accelerated program, but I look at it when I attended and uh, uh, finished the program, uh, I, you know, it's only, we are giving some data and uh, not really, focused on doing any business. That is my uh, two cents on this. So what is your take on it? Or are you going to change that? Because it, it looks like a school. Um, acceleration will not be a school, right? If it is a seed funding, yes, we can go and uh, ask for the same thing. Uh, kindly put some light on this. Thank you. Right. Thank you so much for that question. Uh, very much uh, appreciate your feedback over there. Uh, I hope you shared it with the program managers who were associated with you. However, there were certain feedbacks that were received and we ourselves are uh, making the program more and more, uh, you know, uh, uh, specific to our startups requirement. So that's the reason why when I showed you the program journey, the first thing I mentioned was that the only the first activity that you do is the baselining activity. That is the area where, where you put in information, data, 
which actually helps us come up with the report to understand where your startup is. So currently with the program, the liftoff program, that is the only place where the startups are filling in any information. And that's the beginning of the program. And until unless we have a before, we cannot understand and work on with the startup to get an after. So thereafter, if you see the other two milestones that I mentioned were mock pitch presentations only. So the in based on the information shared on milestone one, all the information uh, are there after put in by the startups on their pitch deck and presented during the mock, mock pitch presentation. So that is how we have evolved out of last year because we realized that this for the startup, there are other important things as well that they would want to do. But for us to work with the startup, we need certain information. So we have tried to abridge it to that end. Also, earlier, the star, the program had mandated a 75% attendance on the program. We have not mandated that. Again, we have abridged it to a part wherein the um, a base learning activity, the, uh, the self-diagnostic tool, the report tells you which are the weeks where you require to be attend attending the session. That too is not mandated by us. So if you feel that the one-on-one -on -one sessions or the sprint sessions are going to be of help to you, that is, of course, uh, then, uh, you know, is up to you how you want to use it. We are not tracking that attendance. We are not tracking your presence over there. Uh, this resource is available, you could utilize it or you could do it yourself. And that is how we are uh, professing also on the program that it is pretty much do it yourself. What we need is to understand your before and after. For that, there are three milestones. So that is how light we have tried to make the program because the idea behind the program is very clear. We need to support the startups with raising some funds. Now, in terms of the startup that you mentioned whom, with whom you had a word, it is up to a startup's choice. Whether he has raised funds thereafter, he wants to do something with it or you want to put it down altogether and do something else. Uh, we do not have any, any control on that. They raised funds. That was a great thing. And that is how we are measuring our success also. It is a foundation. It is not for profit. We are not raising any revenue, not charging any fees, not taking any equity. So you can ask yourself the question, what is the basis of us running the program? It is very clear. We have a very strong impact team, which is working on a monthly basis to track every startup who raises funds to see what is the kind of job create jobs that has been created. And that is put up to us in terms of our uh, uh, startups who are part of the program, who have completed the program, who have been able to raise funds. So I think that is where I would stop this. And uh, yeah, we are open to, uh, you know, feedback from you. But uh, I think that will be, let's take it offline with the program managers with whom you had worked for any further uh, clarification or support. But if you had completed the program and somehow you had certain uh, you know, doubts about not being supported in the right way. I mean, please do contact us, the program managers, and we would be able to justify what, what went wrong or what did not go right. My only request is uh, there will be thousands of questions to fill and uh, generate data. So, and uh, that relevancy could be only coffee here. And if you could concise that around our business, at least that would be. Uh, that is being helpful. concise now, Ms. Uh, Mr. Kautilya. Uh, moreover, if you had attended the liftoff program last year, then uh, again, applying for the same program this year, I, I do not know whether it would be enough relevant if you have not made any progress. If you have and you think you could be supported further, please do apply. But uh, generally, we try to give it at least a one and a half hour gap before a startup who is applied who has gone through this program to come up uh, with it again if you not if you have completed it if you had not completed the program not submitted your milestones then of course you are not you know not, not registered at a completed startup with us so you could apply again sure thank you 
Any other questions from other participants? Okay, so if there are no questions, then um, we can wind up today's session. I've shared my uh, email ID in the chat box. So if you have any specific questions related to uh, Varbani lift off program or the incubation services offered uh, by AICCC, all right, so you can uh, send an email to me. So we will uh, get back to you soon. And uh, if you have any uh, particular uh, uh, suggestions how we can improve our webinar series, uh, you can also share that with me. And uh, once again, I thank all the participants for taking their uh, time from this uh, busy schedule. And even uh, uh, Ms. Sangamita has shared her uh, official email ID in the chat box. So you can directly reach out to her also if you need any uh, further assistance related to this particular program. And uh, once again, thank you all the participants and also Ms. Sangamitra for uh, uh, explaining and also answering the questions from the participants. So uh, as I told, uh, like the application uh, uh, for this program at AICCCRI is open and uh, have already shared the link. So please uh, uh, submit your application as early as possible. So this is the first cohort application that is open now. Yes, looking forward to uh, hearing from all of you. Please do apply for the program and uh, let us connect and see how we can support you. Sure. Thank you. So now we will wind up the session. Thank okay. you, everyone. Thank you so much.